Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am making a little project for my downstairs bathroom. Um, I realized on my little shelf down there, it's just a little half bath off of my laundry room, but I did realize that I still had fall stuff up on there, so I really need to get something else down there to, you know, just brighten it up a little bit for the winter or whatever, but pretty much this I'm going to be able to use all year long. So what I am doing is I'm using a tin can. This is just like your regular 14 ounce, you know, like vegetable can, whatever kind of can. You can use whatever size can you want to. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm using some of these wooden letters from the Dollar Tree that I picked up. And I'm going to write out the word home because we're going to make four of these. I'm just going to show you how to make one here today because they're all made the same. And then I painted the little letters in a gray. I used this gray chalk paint. Um, it's the folk art chalk paint. I love this stuff. I got a bunch of this stuff for Christmas and I was really excited about that. And then I'm also going to use some of the Crafters Square Twine. This is like a jute string um, to make a little bow on top of it. And I have some of these little gem stickers I'm going to use. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with these on the bow. You can use gems, you could use buttons, you could use any kind of embellishment that you want to use on it. And I think it would just look great. And then I'm going to wrap these cans with the nautical rope. This is the 13 foot nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. Um, they usually have that and I'm really glad to see they have the 13 foot back. For a while there they were um, 9 feet long. So, And then I'm also going to use some flowers. You can use whatever flowers you want to put in these. Um, I have these, um, uh, what do we call them these? The hydrangeas. And, uh, these work out perfect. I needed two bunches of each and I'm going to take three off of each bunch to make a little bunch of flowers for each face. So this is just a really easy, easy, easy um, project. I'm going to get on my little rubber fingers here so I don't burn myself because when, I, when you undo the nautical rope it kind of frays open and what I like to do is just take a little bit of hot glue and put it in there and then just kind of squeeze them back together. Otherwise they all come apart. So then it won't unravel on you. Or you could tape it I guess too. I don't know how well that would work um, for this project. But this is just real easy and it came out, I made some already and they came out so cute. I'm very excited about this one. Alright. So, what we're going to do is take your nautical rope, we're going to start way down on the bottom of the can and um, just start hot gluing it on. And what you want to do when you put it down here is make sure it's right down on the table and just push that down so it's flat on your table surface, just like that. And that's all you got to do all the way around here. Now this stuff, you know hot glue doesn't stick really great to like tin or something because it tends to peel off but once you get your first loop around and then you start gluing it onto the nautical rope it'll stay put and um, yeah it won't go anywhere. So we're just going to keep going around here and push it down on the table because you don't want to see the bottom of your can and then when you get over here you're just going to go up over that one And just push that down real good. Just like that. And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to keep going around and around here. Um, need more glue already. I use a lot of glue on this project. We're just going to take that and pull it around, pull it nice and tight, and then push it down real tight on top of the first one that you did. Just keep pushing them down. So this is a very easy project and I'm just so happy with the way it turned out. So I'm trying out my new camera here today. We're going to see how this goes. Hopefully I don't have to do this over. <laughs> I'm no tech wizard by any means. The only thing you really got to make sure you do as you're going around here is just to push it down really tight onto the one that you did before. Just 
give it a good tug and push it down. We'll worry about the glue webs later because I'm sure I'm going to have a million of them. Alright, so I'm just going to do a little bit more of this and then we'll, I'm going to stop the camera here and finish it up. And then when I get up to the top, how I finish it off up there, I'll show you guys how I do that too. Um, nothing to it. Alright, so that's all you're going to keep doing. Just keep going around and just pushing it down really, really good. So let me finish going around here and um, after I get this all the way up to the top, we'll come back and finish it up. Okay, so now I got it all the way up here to the top and I cut off the excess. This is all that was left out of the 15 foot, uh, or the, sorry, the 13 foot nautical rope. So I cut it off and I added a little glue on the end here and you want to end up here's where I started at the bottom so you want to end up with both of your ends in the back which is always a whoops good idea and then you're just gonna secure that down there and that is it and there is our can now I'm going to add a little bow to it. I'm going to use the, um, get that glue out of there. I'm going to use this jute string. It's called um, Natural Jute Cord. And it's a Crafter Square brand. And then I'm just going to cut a little piece off. This is how I'm going to tie this together. And all I'm going to do is just wrap this around all four of my fingers like 16 times. Because I wanted a nice big fluffy bow. If you don't want it that big and fluffy, you know, it depends on how many times you wrap it around your finger. So, let's see. Alright. Now, you're just going to want to slip that off your fingers, like so. And then just kind of pinch it right in the middle here. So that will, is how your bow will be when it's done. And then just take that little piece of string that we cut off and wrap that around the center. And then just give it a good knotting in the back. You want to tie this really, really tight. I like to try to make sure it's even here first before I finish knotting it. All right. I'm not going to worry about knotting that anymore because I don't want the knot to be too big in the back and plus it's going to be glued on so it won't come undone. I'm going to cut off my little loose ends here like that and then you can just kind of open this up a little bit. Which way do you want to go? There we go. You know, just pull it apart a little bit until you have this little bow. And then I'm just going to hot glue that right on the top here is where I want that on this can. Oh, my knot is down really low. All right. So that is going to go right there. I think I got most of my glue webs off. Pretty sure I got them. Except what I just put on my bow here. All right. I'm going to let that cool for a second. And I'm going to take one of these gems. These I got at Michael's uh, a long, long time ago. I'm not sure. I did get some in friend mail, too. I'm not sure where these came from. But you can get these gemstones anywhere. Um, these are pretty big ones. I don't know what size they are. I'm going to say they're almost like a one inch. No, they're about a three quarter inch gemstone. But like I said, you could use a button on here. You could use any kind of embellishment you want. You could put on a cute little heart or something. And these are self-adhesive, but I'm going to add some hot glue because I really don't know how well that's going to stay on there. 
And then I'm just going to put that right in the center of my bow. Just like so. Alright, so now it's time to put the letters on. Let me bring up my other cans here that I already did before. We have four. So here's all four of our cans. And then I'm just going to start here. And it doesn't matter which letter you do first, you know, because you can just rearrange them. But we'll start with the H. And I'm going to count up four. I think I decided that's where I wanted them. Two, three, four. And right on top of that fourth one. Fourth, um round of the nautical rope. So you're only going to really need to glue it right in the center because it's not much room on this H to glue. One, two, three, four. So we're just going to put that right there. Try to make sure I got it in the middle. So there's our H. And if it's not, I'm sure I can probably get it off of here and fix it, but that looks pretty good. I'm going to take... I have a web haunting me here somewhere. There it goes. Let's see. Our, oh, I think we're only going to be able to put glue on the tippy top and the bottom. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's all we're going to have to do here. And I didn't paint the backs of these either. I just left them. One, two, three, four. And then we have our O. And then the M, I don't know, let's see. I think the M's only going to need glue in the center, too. now is our E. And we can go right down the side on this E here. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. All right. And that is it. These are finished. All you need to do now is decide what flowers you want to put in them. I already have one cut off. Actually, I measured one. Let me finish this one. I didn't cut these. Um, I measured one to see how high I wanted them to come up, and then I just used this as my guide to cut the rest of them off. So I'm going to put in three pinks and three whites. And I already have all the other ones cut out, so they're ready to go. Take this. I like the leaves on them. Some people don't care for all the leaves on them, but I'm going to leave them all on here and uh, see how that looks. I think it just fills it in a little bit better. arrange these however you like and just plop them in your can. You could have them higher if you wanted to. I didn't want anything big. It's a small bathroom down there. I just wanted something little, not too overwhelming up on the shelf. And I think that will be perfect. So let me grab my other flowers here. I'm going to be able to get this all in the shot here when we're done. I still got some glue webs to pick, but other than that, we're finished. And I think this is going to be just perfect down there. I will actually take a picture after I get it up. Um, 
and put that at the end. But that was my project for today. It was really easy. It was fun to make. You just need some empty cans and some nautical rope and a little jute string and you have yourself some beautiful little vases. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this project. I will see you all next time. Have a great day everyone.